hey guys in this video we are going to discuss string array and while discussing we are going to answer this question if you take a look here we are declaring a dynamic string array and then we are going to take values in that array and then in that array elements we are going to search a word strawberry right if we get strawberry we are going to print this message okay i'll keep it straightforward i'll uh, you know uh, finish this video in in uh, you know probably five to ten minutes so yeah please hold um please keep watching this video so what i'm going to do i'm going to open a new java project and then i'm going to name it as um, java string array array you can give whatever name you like and i'm going to finish it here and inside there right inside there i'm going to create a new package right you can give any name i'm going to give this name and inside that package i'm going to create a new java class again i'm going to give same name uh, you can give whatever name you like i'll be including a public static uh, word min method inside there as well and then I'm going to create it now here yeah, here is the thing so uh, first of all according to the question we'll have to declare a dynamic array right so, so what will be the size of that array to determine the size I'm going to declare a variable n and to control the loop I'm going to use another variable i okay and then um, I'll be taking the size of the array from input, right? For that, I'll need a uh, scanner object. Um, I'm just going to name object and then new and then scanner and then inside the parenthesis it will be uh, system dot i. Okay, system dot i n and here it will be asking for asking to input the scanner class so i'm going to do scanner class and then um, in this one right uh, so i have a scanner object by which i can now take value from input so can you see the size of the array or let's keep it in that way instead of n let's put um, array size right and then initialize this value here array size equal to right and then use that object this is the object to take a value from input dot next int and before that let's input something let's say uh, system dot i'm going to print appropriate message right out dot print ln and i'm going to say i want to input something here what is that let's say um, input array size input array size okay now we are going to get the array size from here and then after getting the array size so now i have my array size here now i'll have to get values from input right so let's say that if your array size is 3 then you will have you will have um, now uh, I got the array size now I'll have to declare the array so what is the that like I want to take some strings from input so I'll have to declare a string array variable and then I'm going to say let's say um, str array and then you all already know how to declare a string array and then i'm going to say new new string and then here i'm going to give the size what is the size my size is coming from input that is why we are calling it as dynamic array okay and then i'm going to end this now i got the um, I got the array declared now let's say if your array size is 3 then you will have 
index from uh, let's say uh, str array 0 right you can put something like f and then so if you if you take input if you take the address size 3 then you will have this input you will have up to you will be able to store 3 values from 0 1 up till 2 and then let's say um, right. but we do not know what is the size of that array the size of the array could be 100 and if you have to write it in that way it is a little bit difficult so rather than going in that direction we are going to use a for loop here to take values from input so what we are going to do we are going to use that for loop to get value from input so here i'm going to say i equal to zero and then i less than array size and then i plus plus right and what i'm going to do here str array str array i equal to what is my input object? I'm going to use this input object dot right uh, next. So we'll be taking a string from input, and before you know, whenever it will be entering into the loop, it will. I'm going to print a message here that input the value of a input a screen okay now so what what will happen let's say that i'm going to keep a breakpoint here by double clicking here and then if i debug it right how you debug so if you debug from here right first of all my breakpoint is on line number 13 but before that can you see it is asking input the array size let's say i'm going to give the array size 4 okay and now it is asking it has reached uh, to that uh, line number where i have the breakpoint right now can you see that i'm in line number 13 and if you take a look what is the array that i have declared you know i have input my array size 4 now can you see string 4 and it has str array has 0 1 2 3 up to this you know up to this many element like four element now can you see i'm in line number 13 if i execute line number 13 now can you see i equal to zero right i equal to zero now that means um, now it will be asking okay input a string so can you see input a string now when i'm inputting if i execute this line it will be waiting for a string now um what is the value of i so it will be saving that can you see at the moment in zero location i have nothing but when i'm inputting let's say i'm inputting mango right now can you see in zero location i have mango now if i execute line number 13 right so the value of i will be instead of zero it will be one right now the value of i is 1 you can see from here right and then it will be printing this message right and then now if i execute line number 16 it will be taking another value from input so what is that value that i'm going to input mango and then i'm going to input okay. right so if i input enter right now can you see in one location now i have great now i am in line number 13 again now if i execute this line the value of i will be 2 and then it will be comparing 2 less than or equal to array size what is my array size 4 the condition is true 2 less than array size so i'm going inside there right and then it is asking me to input another value so let's say i'm inputting uh, now i'm inputting uh, f of so now you can see that in location 2 I have stored apple. Now if I execute this, the value of i will be 
3 instead of 2 it will be 3 and then 3 less than 4 condition is true so it will be going into the loop and then it will be asking here to input another string so let's say i'm inputting um what is called watermelon watermelon right so now can you see 0 1 2 3 all of the location are fulfilled now if i execute this line the value of at the moment the value is 3 but if i execute this line the value will be incremented to 4 now 4 less than 4 the array size you all know that the array size is 4 4 less than 4 condition is false now it will not go inside it will be exiting out right can you see it is exiting out so now we have taken value from input right in the array and depending on the array size you can input you know as many uh, element as you like right now the next question was how will you be searching if if there is a word strawberry in that array so how do you do that so that is what i'm going to do now now let's say i'm going to print another message here i'm going to print now looking if strawberry is present okay so here again i'm going to do another for loop for basically i can use the same for loop let me just copy it from here right and then close it now if you take a look so how will you do the comparison right so now i have the elements in the array so i can write a if condition here if and then right if what is the array my array is this one right i'm going to put it str array i dot equals str array i dot equals equals what if we get strawberry right then what is our goal to print a message let's say system dot out dot print and then i'm going to say what is what is my expected message that i want to uh, display strawberry found in the array so i'm going to if i get if, if any of that um, if any of the element is strawberry then it will be coming here in the if condition and then it will be printing this and if there is no strawberry then it will not print any right so let's do this so i'll be executing the same one again so let me um, stop the previous execution and then let me do another debug okay now it is asking again to input the array size let's say i'm going to input um, three this time right so now i am in line number 13 right so as you can see that we have input the array size three now the i the variable i is not into picture yet so i'm going to execute now i equal to zero and then it is asking me of input a string and then when i am executing this line i'll be able to input the string let's say i want to input um, echo right and then after inputting it will be going back there now if i execute this line the value of i will be one and then one less than array size which is three yeah that is correct so it will be going into that let's say the next element that i'm going to input is this um what is called strawberry okay. right now it will be taking another value right as now the value of i is one but if you execute this line the value of i will be two two less than three yeah condition is still true so it will be going into there and let's say now i want to input um what is called mango okay. now 
if I execute this line number 13 again, the value of i will be 3. Now 3 less than 3 condition false, so it will be exiting out. So now, now looking if strawberry is present. So again i equal to 0 and stair array i, that means what do I have in i location, in 0 location, apple, right? Now we are comparing is apple equals strawberry? No. So it will not be coming into line number 21, right? You will see that it is not going into line number 21. Now we are going to increase i by 1, that means now i equal to 1. So what do I have in 1th location? Strawberry. Now we are seeing strawberry equals strawberry, right? Condition true. So it will be coming here and then it will be printing okay strawberry found in the array right and then it will be going for the next element right now what is the value of i2 in the second location what do i have mango right so mango equal to strawberry condition is false it will not be printing it right and then now it will be increasing i again by one so it will be three three less than rs has three so condition false it is exiting out now you have seen that how we have uh, how we have taken value first of all how we have declared a dynamic string array right and then how we have taken value into it and then we have compared the value that we have in the array with uh, to see if we have strawberry present in that um, array and then we have exited out from the loop so hopefully um, you know you do not have any question but if you still have any question let me know i'll be you know providing more information on it so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video thank you guys for watching